All right, this is my second FPV run around the garage, and again, I'm going to do a little narration. The floor is a little cleaner this time because I swept. We're going to get to see a place I thought I could get through but couldn't first. Oh, I forgot about the weight bar laying there. And then um, I get turned around. There's the cat, which is not particularly fond of the little FPV car. And then um, I'm kind of back off to the races again. We'll do a little poking around under the Alfa Romeo. And I get hung up on a low spot here. I, I avoided that the first time I drove under the car, but I didn't avoid it the second time. I decided rather than worrying about what I'm going to bang into under there, I would just bring myself around and come on out from under the car buzz around the more open part of the garage but it's interesting the little truck has headlights that work pretty well uh, I've got some models up on the table there that's a bungee launcher that's just passing to us on the left a project I'm working on I, I'm looking to be able to launch without uh, risking the finger nip that comes with uh, the way some models are put together we're zooming. And I've got a Cessna model up on the table. I've got some models hanging off the garage rack over there. It's whipping past the bungee launcher again. Nothing particularly exciting in this run. Again, I was just kind of trying to get my legs under me for FPVing. So I drove this one with the um, screen that I use instead of the goggles. So I just use the recording ground station to look through in order to uh, keep a close eye on, on where I was driving. There's the cat again. Cat doesn't wait for the truck to get there. It, it decides it's going to move before then. I think I try a little four-wheeling over some of the obstacles that I put under the table here. A um, couple of pieces of bark and some flat rock just to kind of get the first person terrain view experience. Across and I think I come back and go at it again. This one gets a little off balance. Let's see how off balance. There we got it. And this time I had mounted the camera in such a way it must have just barely brushed those metal rails last time. Because this time I got no brush on the metal rail under the chair. And so I didn't get any transmission breakup. I tried to run a little uh, image stabilization on this. As you can see my little Velcro mount, the more I went racing around the floor it's like the velcro got a little wobblier but the video stabilization was just terrible the effect was awful you see I'm, my horizons got a little bit off too um, and uh, the video stabilization just blurred everything out real bad and seemed to zoom things in too much because of course it's trying to take off the edges, edges of the image that are getting banged out of frame as it bounces around and I just do a little bit of driving around. This was a little more of just a speed test. Just again trying to change its orientation and position and drive through behind and under things as much as possible and see uh, how the image held up, how the quality and the breakup. And you can see every once in a while there's a little bit of a static flash on some portion of the screen but overall it's a solid image transmission and a lot of fun to drive. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of these with the truck out in the driveway instead of just uh, running around the garage floor. So keep an eye out for those and uh, throw me a like or follow.